So thanks to the magic of YouTube, I've got a Marshall 30th anniversary head sitting here. I put the word out last week on my Q&A and uh, thank you so much to my buddy Quaid, who has a friend who owns this amp and we're gonna have a listen to some tones today. I'm gonna be using this amazing Bacchus Classic Series guitar. Shout out to Tim at MT Guitars for loaning it to me. And I'm just plugging straight into this. And in the other room, I have got my Marshall 412, which has four different speakers. So over the course of this video, I'm gonna show you guys the Vintage 30 together with this, and then with a Greenback style speaker, a T75 style speaker, and a G12H30 style speaker. The GB is a WGS Green Beret, and the other speaker is a WGS Reaper, and Celestian G12 T75, and Celestian Vintage 30. So at the moment, we're on the Vintage 30 mode. Now, this amp is pretty interesting in that there's a whole bunch of different switches and buttons on there. So I'll give you a quick rundown. Channel one, just has volume and three band EQ. So this is your kind of classic JTM style channel. It stays really clean and doesn't break up too much. But above the input, you have a low and a high input. Uh, what does it say? Compensation switch. Then we've got a bright switch and a mid switch on channel one. On channel two, you can select between three modes, mode a and B, which has a switch to switch between them, and then mode B and C. Uh, there's a three band EQ there and a volume and a gain control. Basically similar setup on channel three, but we've got a contour control, which changes the mid range response and a gain boost. Then we've got the channel selectors here, uh, which also lets us program the channel changes by MIDI, which is pretty cool. Seeing as this amp came out in 1992, I imagine it would have been one of the first full MIDI capable heads, which is pretty awesome. Then the master section has volume presence and an effects loop mix as well as a low volume compensation. On the back we can choose between a high and low power mode. We've got pentode or triode switch and there's also a response mode which I've just got set to auto at the moment. So let's start on channel one. The way I've got this dialed in is the way I would dial in a JTM 45 or a plexi. Bass quite low, middle and treble mostly crank, bright switches on and volume is at about two o'clock I'm running this through a Sennheiser E906 my I'm running this through a Sennheiser E906 microphone and it's straight to my Apollo Twin using the UA610 preamp emulation on the bridge pickup of this guitar this is what it sounds like <laughs> sounds pretty sweet to me. So that is a very JTM 45 style clean sound. The mid shift control does this. which kind of makes it sound a little more fendery, I guess. I like it with the mid shift off. The bright switch does this, it's pretty subtle, off. So not a whole lot. And then these uh, input compensation switches kind of confuse me, but when I push the low one in, it does this. Well, I'll leave it, them both out. So it changes the input impedance, I'm guessing, which changes the tone quite a bit, as you can hear there. So that is channel number one. Let's swap over to channel number two. Ooh, we got some buzz already. I better turn that down. Uh, in this, 
setting. I am on mode A at the moment. The gain is at about two o'clock. The volume on the channel is at about one o'clock. And then where have I got the middle? Middle is at about one o'clock. Treble is at about two or three o'clock. And again, this is kind of like the more high gain plexi channel. So I've got the bass at nine o'clock nice and low. Let's just have a listen to the three modes and how they change the overall tone. So mode A to me is kind of your ACDC channel. I would probably crank the gain on that one even more and this kind of sounds like a driven JDM 45 or maybe a 50 watt plexi. back the gain off and use mode B, uh, it's kind of like a slightly more compressed saturated version. And then mode C is sort of modded plexi territory. pretty fun. I think I like mode B the most on this with the gain at about two o'clock and middle and treble are cranked here. I would back the treble off a little bit and uh, the bass is probably at about 10 o'clock. So that seems to work for me. I should mention as well, the presence is at uh, about 10, 11 o'clock on all of these. So let's have a listen to that mode again and I'll play with the presence and get the sweet spot. <laughs> that a lot so let's go to channel 3 now because this is your JCM 800 and beyond kind of channel so starting with no gain boost but in this case I've got the bass kind of cranked it's at about three o'clock the mid-range is at about two o'clock and the treble is backed off because this channel is pretty bright uh, which you would expect from an 800 style channel now uh, where's the gain just below noon volume is at about one or two o'clock contour off gain boost off <laughs> Thank you. 
thing, the thing that I love about this amp is that kind of palm muty crack that it's got. It's not compressing or getting flubby or anything like that. So that's really impressive on channel three. The contour control, I like to call the suck control because it makes your tone suck. Have a listen to this. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good overview of some of the tones. This amp to me, I would describe it as being articulate. It's very, very clear. Uh, on some of the settings, it is a little bit overly bright, but that's pretty easy to dial back with the treble or the presence control. But it doesn't have that kind of like woofy, woofiness or like in incredibly kind of piercing high end that you can get uh, with some JCM 800 models and especially the like JCM 900 dual reverb models, which to me um, always sound like grainy and piercing and fizzy, like all the kind of qualities I don't love about Marshall amps, whereas this one has a bit of the plexi thing in the way that it's sort of articulate, but it's not saggy like a plexi. It's a little bit more sort of like uh, tight in the low end, like a JCM 800 or something, especially through a vintage 30 like we're listening to here. So yeah, that's a very brief overview. It does have this low power mode, which I need to talk about. This is what that does. <laughs> I really like that. It's not low power, it is called low volume compensate. So I don't know what is happening there. Um, this is on the high power mode with the amp though. So uh, the low power mode, I simply haven't tried yet. I'm sure I'll get around to it, but at the moment it's sounding pretty slamming. Let's have a listen to this amp with a couple of different speakers. I'll just go through the four different speakers in this cab. I'll leave the settings the same uh, because as always, mic position, speaker choice, they make a huge difference when we're talking about these kind of tones. But this amp definitely loves V30s. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Um, it's not my favorite Marshall ever. I think the DSL still kind of pips it there, but I like it way more than the TSL. I like it way more than the JCM 900s. And uh, yeah, it does a few other things that like the classic 2203 800s don't do. So it definitely gets a tick in my book. Let's have a listen to it. We'll go Green Beret, then we'll go Reaper, so the WGS speakers, and we'll go back to the Celestian G12 T75. Thanks for watching the video. Enjoy the tones. If you've got a comment or if you own one of these amps, uh, feel free to weigh in in the comments and we'll have a conversation about it. Cheers, guys.
Oh, my God.